Alright, good day everyone, it's Gareth again for watching my brother gaming and we're continuing our Tectonica playthrough. Hopefully now we can actually get some research done, because that was the plan for the last time, and I totally screwed that one up. Uh, did I hit shift? Yeah, I did. Oops. Okay, let's see here. Rotate, rotate. Okay, we've got a rescue mission here, but we'll worry about that later. Um, okay, this was, what did we discover? Paladin. Uh, emergency evacuation drills. Okay, so it's causing trouble that side. Okay, let's just head this way out of curiosity. We'll leave the light poles in place. Oh, and we want to connect more matter. We're probably wasting fuel because we haven't researched the next uh, tier of technology, but we'll get there. Just collect like a thousand and we can just dump it into our production center. I really hope these plants like respawn or regrow, because if they don't, this map's going to become very, very empty. Okay, this is a dead end. Well, this looks like there's a way there. Okay, that way. Okay, there's a raw material deposit here, which we have copper. So definitely, if we want to expand our industry, that's not going to be a problem. But the biggest hiccup at the moment is we have no power. In fact, the base has probably run out of power again in the few minutes we were talking. Which objective is this way? But let's just check it out, and we'll see about conducting research. Wow, talk about rocky terrain probably flatten it, but we don't need to right now. Okay, there's something. I'm just going to collect these plants. Still got to build the other farming thing for the other type of plants, but like I said, power. In order to do it, ah! Yeah, I think it's been a couple thousand years since we went to sleep, at least. Okay, so the objective is behind this wall. At a height, and then there's something below, and it looks like there's a cavern down there. But there's a, there's a path, let me zoom out. It looks like there's an easier to get to path this way. Looks like, if I missed two resource deposits? Yeah, there's treasure here. It looks like somebody established a base of operations in this area. And then there's an easy path here to go down. So it'll probably be easier to cut through here. Okay, that's not how a waterfall works. You don't just walk up it like it's a flat path. Okay, the easiest ex entrance point would probably be right here. Standard cutting technique. I will admit, I really like this aspect of the game's cutting technique because you can make traversable paths so easily. It's ridiculous. Most games get this wrong where terrain becomes a major problem. But in this particular game type, you can make a traversable path easily. And it looks really nice. I mean, you gotta admit, this game does look really nice. Perfect bioluminescence mixed with plant life. It could probably do with some kind of underground animal life, but maybe they'll do that at a later stage. They may introduce a slight combat variant where we accidentally dig into a bug hive or something. And, uh, have I gotten lost it again? Oh, no, I've just fallen into a pit. Ooh, that does not look very promising. Okay, uh, 
As per usual, I'm getting totally sidetracked of my initial plans. Where, oh, where can we gain access to this point? We're probably going to have to build a spiral staircase to the top. Okay, let's head back to base. We'll worry about that in a bit. I'm not going to take these plants. Can we scan this? No. Nope. Uh, I just want to check. Okay, the treasure is above us, so we can't actually get to it. What you probably find is we would cut our way in through here and then make our way through here. And then as we explore the base, we end up falling into this thing and then we cut our way out. As per usual with this game, I've done it backwards. I've come to the exit before finding the entrance. Nuts. Okay, hang on a minute. Let's just put some lights here. Come on. Uh, that's not where I wanted that to go. Sorry, that was just my brother's cell phone. As per usual, he's got it set to... I don't want to get in with him. With WhatsApp messages, I want them to be short. The alert tone to be short. Yes, I'll miss a message or two, but I don't want it ringing for like six hours. But my brother... He prefers it to have a very long ringtone, so it rings. So I'm sorry if you're picking that up on the mic. If not, well, you could just ignore me. That is not good. We are low on resources. Something fierce here. Did we really burn through them that quickly? No, we haven't. But one belt is probably not enough to supply us with, um... Juice. Barely making enough power to charge the batteries. This thing... Is that... Is that you have that back? Oh, darn it. I didn't realize this unit had run out of supplies. Wire and components now. Wire is here. Components are here. Because we're using them up, we're not making as much as we should be. Okay. Uh, limestone was being dumped in here temporarily. Sort. Okay, we've got some stuff. Uh, where was it? Have a pack. Okay, so it's not actually on our back. It's just in our inventory. Alrighty then. Uh, journal log. Is that where we check? Okay, we need to... This is our primary objective for now. We still need to activate the accumulators because we need to research it. We need to research coolant. We're still in the tutorial phase. To unlock that door, we need to unlock this thing. Upgrade production terminal. That's actually what we really need to do. We don't need to do this as badly. But what we need is this. Now the problem we're coming into is I'm using up the resources faster than I'm producing. Uh, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away this one. I'm going to take away this one. Unfortunately, that is probably really hurting our power production. Um, can I? I wonder if I should add a third. Where is it? Crank generator. I will have so many of these by the time it's done. I need to produce more power. And to do that, I need to conduct research. Research. To complete research. Speaking of. How many points do we have in our tech tree? We have one. So we unlocked all of this tech. We still need to do this. Unlock that tech. Wanna unlock this one? Unlock this is definitely gonna be a requirement. I'd love to conveyor belts. Walking speed. Okay, yeah, that would be nice. Lock suit speed two, that'll be nice. Oh, just a sec. Blow my nose. That's working fine, so we can't produce what we need to produce. We just need to, well, produce it. This base is doing quite well, it's just not doing as well as I would like. Now we need this to make these boxes things, which we can make ourselves. We can. Lightweight structural material from condensed plant matter. 
Oh, for flip's sake. I do like the fact that if you crank on one now, it cranks on all, which definitely solves our power production problems. And we can recharge our batteries. Not that that helps in the long run, but it's better than nothing. This is supplying plenty, but is it getting to where it needs to go? Yes, it is. It's even started uh, stockpiling here, which means the drills are working properly. Excellent. Just want to double check that everything is working fine down line. We have a mixture of long burning fuel, short burning fuel, and so I think my flippin' uh, unit, uh, cell phone alarm going off in your ears. Is this actually working? It is. We're just not mining enough. We probably need to double iron mining operations, but uh, I don't know how far this buying a lot. This time I almost started cutting. We could probably uh, build a platform and you could stack it, but I don't have the research to do that at the moment. We could probably stack it with this, just build an upper level. Do I want to try that? Do we have enough? We have enough. So if we go here. This is going to be awkward as heck. Let's give this a try. It looks terrible. And it's not even close enough. Resources to build additional mining drills. Yes. So if I can fit another one or two, that shouldn't be a problem. I don't know how we get the belt. Ideally, we'll run the all belt down and th across. I'll run this one up and across. Just have to see how I can run it and how ridiculous it's going to look. We actually need to double the length of this floor. We 
we'll just pretend what we've done is bolted it to the wall for support. Yeah, that sounds like a logical adjustment. Oh. Actually, no. Uh, four. Uh, one is in, one is out. Closest out, so. Out, out. Don't have enough as per usual. One, two. Okay, I'll just finish building up flooring. Okay, well, I'm waiting on that. Conveyor belts, conveyor belts, conveyor belts, conveyor belts. Okay. Raw ore is going out. Yeah, of course it's being blocked by me. You won't turn. The lack of any, uh, what's it, just a simple straightforward cancel is very, very annoying. That's supplies. give us an upgrade where we won't get caught on our own belts because this is starting to get very very annoying okay now then how to connect that's going to be the fun thing here we may have to chew up some of this wall but for now let's just see if we can get it to connect Up some wall. I need some platform. That's basically what I need. a case of doing something without the correct technology to do it. As a result, it's not working quite as well as I would like. Install a cancel button here. Actually, yeah. Cancel button would be very, very nice right now. Cancel command button where you don't have to scroll. Because in order to stop a uh, construction thing here, I have to scroll uh, through it to get it to stop, and that's very, very annoying. That should be one down. Just going to copy our step design here. Went a bit, uh, oh well. Now then. Come on. I want to double the size of that step. Okay. So, this is going to be abnormally big, but that's because of the down turning circle. Uh, let's start with the outer one first, and then uh, this way. This way. Uh, nope. This way. All the way to the edge here. Up. Up. Uh, I've done 
was wrong. Oh, darn it. And this is where I want the cancel con function. supposed to be on the outer line, and that's supposed to be on the inner line. I want to connect my existing lines, but it's not going to work the way I want it to work, I think. Let's just go for it, and then see what we get. materials. Yeah, I definitely screwed up here. Okay, hang on. Can we go this way, but up a level? Apparently not. And connect. And I'm blocked. Okay, that was a total, total screw up. That belt is supposed to be on that side. That belt is supposed to be on the inside. Don't care. It's working. We got extra minerals coming in. You can just. Uh, I'll dump the plant matter back in the um, collector. We need to recharge the old batteries anyway. Oh dear, 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 dear. Okay, now finally we may be actually able to make enough iron plates that'll actually be worth our while to achieve something here. But it, yeah, that's it. Fuel source. I wish these crank generators lasted more than five minutes because. In this game time, at least five minutes takes like, it's nothing. You run out of it so quickly. Okay, what's our research like? 60, okay. Give me that. Give me that. Keep working on it. You can have the wire back. We have got to get the iron and copper plates up. May even pay me to stop all production until I can achieve that. Wow. That's tall. I think we're about to hit a problem. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be. I think this is too tall now. Oh dear. 
I don't know if it's just going to build it through the uh, rock wall and ignore it, or is it just going to get stuck? It's adding it to our research, so that's not a problem. Okay, that should make us faster. We want to research that. We really need to research all of this. Now we need to research this. For now... Mount. Accumulator. Stores electrical power for delayed distribution. Yes, great. Don't care. Kind of figured that out already, computer, I'm afraid. Problem is, we're not generating nearly enough juice to make it of any value. Yeah, we keep shifting between plenty of power to no power depending on what's switched on at the time. Um, do, 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 do. Give me this. Take this, place this here. Me, uh, I'll just make five. I'm just going to add a cutoff collector so we can just collect um, some of this excess iron ore. Fuel should not be a problem now. We really, really shouldn't be having a fuel problem. Why are you having a fuel problem? Or are you having a raw materials problem? Okay, you're having a raw materials problem, you're not having a fuel problem. We could also go up, but for now I'm not going to do that, because copper production really isn't a problem. Ah, no. Let's just take a little bit of this iron ore so we can stack it. Plant units, we can make as many as we want. Um, tap, what is it? Oh, power accumulator. We'll get there. Uh, okay, that's... Uh, okay, it looks like we've already... We've un completed the accumulator research. Uh, okay, that's to make processes... This Let's do this, because the plant matter frames are right here. We just place this here. It's going to look terrible. The uh, problem is, it can produce, but it can't take out. So I don't know if the, what these machines' limits are. Now let me just try planting this here. Maybe trying to squeeze this into too tight a spot. Because there's no way we're getting a cargo pallet in here. I could cut into the wall, but then I have to cut the whole length of the wall. Mm. Just don't want to waste the space, but... Uh... Other option. It's a back function because now I have to because each every time you make a mistake here you have to uh, scroll you have to cancel whatever you're doing and just stop which is annoying we'll make this we'll just dump it right next to it we don't care said five minutes is not nearly enough time on these devices either we have to research a new technology or there's got to be a way better power source than hydroelectric because hydroelectric I don't know if it's going to be enough okay 
How much do you need? Eight. Too slow. Complete this objective. I'm making 60 a minute. Well, its input is 60 a minute and 15 is output. That's actually quite nice. That tells us right here on the corner. Once again, power is a problem. Oops, wrong button. P. Yeah, power is a big problem. Okay, we completed that objective. Now we're just stockpiling resources. We'll get there. Local signal deciphered. Ingress PX0001. Report to production terminal Victor for triangulation. Okay. Reese enables the ability to reassign research course. What the heck does that mean? Oh, we can move the whole thing. Okay, that that's what it means. Awesome, because I think we've stuck. I can't tell. It looks like it's gone through the rock, maybe. I don't know. We'll add more, and if it gets stuck, it gets stuck. And then we'll just move it into a bigger... Bigger facility. <laughs> What are you short? Uh, construction components. We should be feeding this automatically, but for now I don't care. I really, really don't care. Okay. Research. Where have you completed? Ah, yes. This stuff. Oh, finally! So that's what limestone is used for. Okay. Why you would put limestone in coolant? I don't know. I know you can use limestone sometimes for uh, filters, but uh, maybe that's what they're doing. But you don't really use limestone in coolant because all you're going to turn is your coolant's going to go from a liquid to basically sludge, unless they have some other neat trick that I'm unfamiliar with. Okay, log. That's just that. What we want to do still is repair Terminal Victor, which is, should be this unit. Should be this thing. We're still getting the emergency broadcast. Mining that. This should be Terminal Victor, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, we're still getting something. Yeah. Signal triangulated. New location added to HUD. Cartilage. Cartilage. Okay, thank you for the verse. Where did you add it? There. What's in that direction? PX. I wonder if that's up the elevator that we haven't been able to unlock yet. It is. There is a little meter reading on the compass on the upper left of the screen, but it is so tiny, I cannot physically read what it's saying. And my screen is not set for a small hut. This is fairly big for my screen. It's 300 or something. Is it up? Oh, it's up there. Right, this is totally blocked off, I forgot. Okay, we're not going to worry about it. We know it's there. It's it's somewhere up here. Okay, batteries are full. 
that looks really cool. Just we slammed our research into the ceiling, so you know. And that's as high as she wrote. Okay. All right. Um. That's even lower. Um. That's pretty high. We need more floors. To make more floors, we need more iron. Uh, hang on a minute. Logistics? No. Base building stairs. Iron and copper wire. I have an idea. It's probably a bad idea, but it's an idea. Uh, copper wire is here. Iron ore. If... The stockpiling is not going to work at this rate. Because this is going out as quickly as it's going in. To the point we don't actually need this anymore. some flooring because I want to move that research terminal into that middle underneath that uh, hole in the ceiling then what we could do is we could build stairs and then we could just climb our research spheres because yeah you could grip this you could grip this easy and then you just go up 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 and we can climb out of here on research we'll just build it like right here and we'll climb out that hole to the surface yeah this is how we escape this place Actually, you know what? This is almost perfect. If we assume, as with most scientific research techs, it takes a lot of heat. Or computers, especially what the normally like this, and heavy duty computers generate a tremendous amount of heat. Now, I'm assuming if this was real, this would be generating an enormous amount of heat, and you'd have to cool that down somehow. And here we have a natural waterfall. If we built it underneath it, the water would cascade down it. Of course you waterproof it, you're not going to just let water onto the electronic components. I'm assuming each of these little glass spheres is sealed. It doesn't look sealed. At all. But just practicality, you would seal these up. And you would use the wa natural waterfall as liquid cooling. That would be a way to go about it. We'll just remove the excess in a minute. Okay, I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing. Am I just taking... It's 
really hoping it wouldn't do this to me. How the heck am I supposed to get those? Okay, not not what I was hoping would happen, but... Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Minecraft. Yes, you will never escape Minecraft's problem-solving capabilities, like ever. It's just not possible. Oops, that was my bad. Yes, jetpack that we have is strictly compared to um, your location. So, the jetpack works, which is, I've already found quite annoying, is it's not a proper jetpack. It's a suspension pack. All it does is gives you height based on um, your current uh, comp altitude compared to the ground. That's it. So, if you're higher off the deck, then you should be... Okay, this goes... Sorry, just give me a second here. There. This one will come right next to it. There. There. Rid of this connection point. We're going to connect it to the rest of the base over here. And we'll feed it supplies from this side. This one will be nice and cool though. Okay, how do we want to do this now? Uh, you know, we could just connect it here. Well, I like this uh, floor concept. It's actually quite a nice idea. You don't have to build hundreds of power poles, which is one of the things you start to get really annoyed with in a Factorio and Satisfactory, where you're constantly running to make sure you built your power poles in the right place and you're not, and you've got a clearance and everything. It can also be a little annoying as it's the advantage power poles give is you've got a cable, so you can ignore um, the usual problems of getting over bumps and humps and terrain difficulties this not so much you have to be almost continuously on a flat floor which is annoying okay what the heck let's just go for it Hmm. 
That should do it. I don't think we're going to get this. I think it's already used up the resource. Yeah, you see here. It's already used up the existing uh, research points. So unfortunately, we can't cheat in this game and just get unlimited research points by dismantling and reassembling our research stations. I think that's in the wrong place. We're going to... Yeah. Okay, before we get too far... don't know how big this thing is. Okay, we're not coming any closer. One block short, perfect. Uh, stuff it. Actually, it, it's a waste because we're not going to ever. At least for now, we're not going to have enough resources to do it that fast. Maybe when we upgrade the belt, it'll be a thing like that. Voila! And we'll, I'll leave this platform for now. I may actually end up putting another research station here anyway, but we'll see what happens. Oops, I hit shift again. But yeah, that's plenty of altitude for this to climb. And we're cooling off our research cores with water cooling. Not that it actually is anything in this game, but if in real life when you had a massive uh, computer terminal system, uh, what was it called? Uh, computer hub, computer matrix, whatever, you would cool it. We have natural water cooling. How's that for bonus? Oh, well, we're gonna have plenty of pipes. In fact, we don't even need to. Which? What is making pipes? Okay, cancel that. Uh, click to change recipe. Uh, I think you're only receiving. Um, how do we cancel? Okay, empty. For now, just go into standby mode. Because this is the only thing that's supplying iron ore as well. So unfortunately we can't uh, just switch this to make anything else, so it's going to be blinking at us this entire time, which is annoying. But what we need more now is, uh, what's it, uh, mechanical components rather than, um, you're making this, you're making microcircuits, am I actually making, um, that was, yeah I am making iron components, okay cool. All right, I just want to check. Sorry, just checking how long we've been on the rip. Recording, we're still at only 45 minutes. We've got time to go. Do we have 190? We're almost done there. What excess resources? Okay. Tech nabbit. No. What are these? Stack inserters. So these might actually be what we need. Let's just try these out quick. What a, I could probably check what they do, but... Okay, yeah, so these will add two or three each time. Okay, that's fine. 
we haven't unlocked the technology, and do we have them in our load transportation? Logistics, fast searches. Wow, we've already unlocked most of this stuff, but we haven't unlocked... Monorail system, so we haven't got there yet. Okay. Excuse me? Oh dear. Did not get a lot of sleep last night, because we went from boiling hot weather with insane humidity to all of a sudden the biggest we got 61 mils in a night so it was like violent thunderstorms tons of rain right out of nowhere fuel is fine production is fine except now we're running into copper production problems but it's not a major hiccup it was mainly the iron that we really really needed what's a stack like okay we need still quite a lot here it's a copper stack slide. Okay. 500, 500. Okay, you can take that back. Give me that. We'll stockpile the excess copper here. We'll stockpile it. Right now we're just waiting on to completing our next stack of research so we can do it. Oh, did I not put these cores back? I obviously didn't. Oops. Well, you might as well give me the cores we have. The scanner is the mo least intrusive, if you will. Because I think we're still short cores. Yeah, 187 cores. I'm not going to add these yet. Probably going to need to add them shortly, but for now we don't need to worry about it. It's so weird. It's probably because they haven't had a chance to create a micronized 3D model that'll fit on the belt. But everything else in this game is 3D modeled except for these cores. They're flat as pancakes, and it just looks so weird. Oh well. I wonder if we could use this for vertical power generation or something. We could stick a bunch of turbines. As the water runs down, it'll turn the turbines. That's one way of doing it. Well, that's actually that's exactly almost how they do it in a power plant hydroelectric power plant. They've got a whole tunnel of turbines, but normally it's la laid horizontally. I don't know if they lay it vertically. They might, but I don't think so. I think it's horizontally laid, the turbines. I don't know. I honestly don't know. We actu I actually need to Google it and see what the layout of a hydroelectric plant is with respect to its turbines. I know the water intake system is vertical on the bottom or near the surface. I can't remember. I honestly cannot remember. Okay, this is working fine. Except for that, because we overproduced. Which is not an uncommon error on my part. I do admit this is pretty cool. First it 3D prints a liquid blob, and then it stamps it. At least I'm assuming that's what it's doing. It could just be using lasers to heat the liquid in, uh, metal into a liquid and then stamp it out. Ugh, who knows? I hope we get to this level of automated production at some point, because we're still heavily reliant on people, even on the most automated system in the world, which is car production, uses heavy robotics, but still. It would be quite cool. I know it kind of sucks because a lot of people would lose their jobs, which would suck, but if we could reach this level of automation where we have to just supply the raw materials, and each stage it could produce anything, then... I'm not sh actually, I'm not sure if that would be a good thing or a bad thing. Now I'm stopping and thinking about it. People would lose their jobs, which was the original complaint when first mass production came in and the first robots were introduced. Huge complaints about that. But if we produ produced an automation system so efficient that it could make anything, would that get rid of our problems? I mean, you could have as much as you want as long as you supplied the raw materials. And the asteroid belt has all the raw materials we could ever want. Okay, I think we are... Uh, just a little short on copper. I'm wondering, should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I? Problem is, where can we split off fuel? Probably in this area.
Uh, did I click too deep here? Uh, I can't tell. Yes, I did. Oops. Do I have enough production for base building? No. Damn it. If these are so stacked up, does that mean yes? It does. Get some of this here. Okay. A couple of wire, a couple of wire, a couple of wire is here. Do that. 5, 10, 15, 20. Craft 5 at a time. That's way more than 5 at a time. It doesn't matter. Oh, of course. Always, always do that. Alrighty then. The other option is we could approach this. Instead of building another stack, the problem is the feed line is going to be a pain in the butt. Is we could do it from outside. But the feed line for the copper is going to be a royal pain in the butt. Resources is fine. We can step, take it from right here and grab it here. Yeah, feed line is going to be painful as hell. But yeah, we could take it from outside. elevated feed line, but I think it could work. Okay, first things first. Do we have enough to produce? Yes. Make five more. And we're going to build it like this. Then what we need is logistics. Copper. Does it need? Mechanical components. Oops, wrong one. Right one. It's just the feed line is going to be so difficult. Because we're running it this way. Unless we can run the feed line above here and get it to feed in directly here and then it'll feed through. Okay, that we can try. Alright, I've got an idea to expand our copper production without having to try my luck with building a double decker assembly process like we did there. those new lights? I can't remember. These lights don't provide nearly enough lighting. Okay, uh, four. Got it. 
So we gotta take half our mechanical components again. Oh, and we're low on power again. This five minutes is not enough. If it was 15 minutes, maybe. You could bet the first mod that comes out for this game is going to be modifying these crank generators so they actually last longer. Definitely got plenty of flippin' limestone. first because I screwed up last time. Come on. Okay, how do we um, elevate this belt? Let's want to check options, control settings. Uh, move. Arrow keys. Transfer stack. I don't know. Oh, okay. I don't know what I just did. I just hit tab instead of escape. Movement, keyboard controls. Uh, interaction. Rotate clockwise, rotate counterclockwise. That would be nice to have, but I don't know what the T button does. So let's just put T as it. And crafting. Okay, that's not what I want. So, R is this way. T is research. Right. to be the way to do it. Okay. That's the output belt run. They really gotta add specific controls. Alright, let me just go fix that control mistake I made. And if I hit tab, it gives me that. And I go to crafting, interaction, sorry. And remove. Okay, save game since we're here. Awesome sauce. I have long inserters. I've made them. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, we're getting copper and we're attacking it from the opposite side. So this one looks like it's burrowing more into ground than copper, but it doesn't matter. But are these actually digging into it? Because this one looks like it's dug into the uh, copper face a bit. I wonder if... Are we actually using up the raw materials as we go along, or are we not? These are just stocks. Uh, no, it looks like they can extend to reach the raw materials, but I don't think they're digging into the raw materials. Yeah, we need fast inserters, which needs power. We need fast belts, which needs power. I'm afraid this game is still, at least at the point I've got it, we're still circling back to the same problem. We need power. Lots of it. Okay, just got to give a few minutes and the copper supply will go up. Should be coming around shortly. Uh, iron ore is going up. Copper is still insufficient. Is 
something tells me I'm going to have a lot of these stack searches by the time I'm done. It's just going to be the way to go. Picked up more limestone. Don't know from where. Might as well get these crank generators going again. We're still doing a barely alright for power. Come on, where's the copper? Oh, you bastard. Sorry, excuse my language. But that is just so freaking annoying. That we get hung up there of all places. Did we get hang hung up here? No, no we did not. That is fine. I don't know why, but it looks like our iron ore production has well slowed down quite a bit. Because you see these gaps, which suggest we're not getting nearly as much as we should be getting. But we're still getting from the rest, right? We only have three up here, so that makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna skip some of it and just go straight to uh, delivering the iron to be processed, because these things are all full. Even though I did do research to ex uh, increase the speed of our, excuse me, furnaces, it doesn't seem to have done as well. we get flipping hang on a minute no this is plant matter so where are we picking up this flipping uh, limestone because now I've got limestone again I haven't cut any rocks please tell me I didn't just put the limestone in here no it doesn't look like I did okay cool okay, getting there Getting here. Okay, unfortunately this now is just the uh, wait for everything to be done time frame, I'm afraid. Hopefully these copper will start to stockpile and we can steal from it. We're getting our iron ore. And I think I'm going to leave the episode here. We have done a little bit to get where we want to go. I'm just going to bring these back online. But... Not nearly as much as I would like, because we're mainly now just trying to keep up our power production. But other than that, I think we had a very nice episode. So I hope everyone's enjoyed, and you all have a wonderful day. This is Gareth from Watchmogolic Gaming, out!